what is a sentence and what makes sentence complete? That's what we'll be talking about today. Hello everybody, thank you for checking this video and if you're new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified with educational, motivational, and fun videos, just hit the ring button. And for today's video, we'll be talking about sentence and what makes it co complete. And now, you know what, sentence is very important, especially in speaking and writing, because we are constructing sentences. And the fact that we are constructing sentences, it should be well constructed because we are conveying messages to a lot of people. So without further ado, let's start, get started. Alright, so for today's grammar lesson, we'll be discussing about sentence. But um, before that, uh, from the previous lesson that we had, we talked about eight parts of speech. The reason why we talk Eight parts of speech before a sentence. It is because we will use those um, speech, those speeches in constructing sentences. Okay. So, but for that, um, sentence structure is important because it provides us with a framework for the clear written expression of our ideas. The aim in writing is always to write complete sentences, which are correctly, which are correctly punctuated. That's why we need to understand and you know master sentence in constructing sentences so when we talk about sentence a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought now i have here an example we have the child sings so this example given is what we call sentence it's be it is because we have the subject and the verb now I have mentioned to, to you a while ago the, re the reason why we have discussed eight parts of speech. It is because we discuss eight parts of speech. Sabi ko nga, kasi nga, magagamit natin siya in constructing sentences. Bakit? For example, the word sings. What is sings? What part of speech is the word sings? Very, very good. Because it, it action word. Tama? Unlike child, what is child? Noun. So, diba? So, with this, with this example, we're able to use the eight parts of speech. That's why we need to master eight parts of speech so that we can construct sentences. Now, the reason why I have said to you that sentence contains with subject and a verb, diba? Sabi ko kasi nga, ang sentence talaga... Um, it really contains with the subject and a verb. Hindi pwedeng verb lang, walang subject. Hindi siya pwede. Dapat meron siyang subject and a verb. Next, kapag sentence, the first letter of the word in the sentence is capitalize. Okay? Dapat yung first letter of the word in the sentence, dapat daw capitalize. Now, question. What if the sentence is complete already, yet um, the first letter is not cap capitalized? Is it correct? And for me, it's incorrect. Why? Because according to the rule, sentence, the first letter of the word in the sentence should be capitalized. Now, if it's not, then it's incorrect, no matter if it's a complete thought. Next is, always ends with a punctuation mark. Your sentence should be end with punctuation mark. It could be a period, a question mark, or a, uh, exclamation mark. Point. Now, the reason why there is a punctuation mark in your sentence is because um, that punctuation mark can determine whether the sentence is a request, a command, a statement, an order, a question, or uh, expressing emotion. There, that's the reason why. So, um, if the sentence doesn't have punctuation, automatically the 
the sentence is incorrect. Okay? Always remember that one. And sentence um, consists of subject and predicate. Kapag sinabi nating subject, it has simple and complete subject. Kapag sinabi naman ating predicate, meron siyang simple and complete predicate as well. So here it is. Kapag sinabi nating subject, subject does the action. Meaning to say, siya yung gumagawa ng kilos. Sino yung gumagawa ng kilos? And usually, ang subject natin ay noun or pronoun. Okay? Yan ang subject natin. Noun or pronoun. So, predicate natin. Uh, these are verbs, adjectives, or whatso what, uh, whatsoever parts of the speech that we have. Now, kung ang subject, siya yung gumagawa ng kilos, kapag predicate naman, it tells something about the subject. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Meaning to say, kung ano yung ginagawa ni subject. Okay? That is predicate. So, for halimbawa, sa example natin, the child sings. So, the child sings. Sino yung gumagawa ng, sino yung gumagawa ng kilos? Which is the child. So, the child, the one who does the action. So, meaning to that is our subject. Ano yung ginagawa ni child? Sings. So, that is our predicate. Okay? Now, let's discuss simple subject and complete subject. Kapag sinabi natin simple subject, it is the key noun or pronoun that tells what the sentence is about. So, ito yung key noun lang, yung pinaka noun lang sa sa sentence or sa subject. Halimbawa dito, the famous actress song and dance the party. Sino yung pinaka noun dyan or yung um, the subject itself na gumagawa ng kilos? Of course, the actress lang. So, the word actress here is our simple subject since she is just the only one who does the action. Now, paano naman tong the famous? Ano namang nangyari dyan sa the famous? Yung the famous actress magiging complete subject. Yan, because a complete subject consists consists of simple subject and all the words that modify it. So, yan si complete subject. Unlike in simple predicate, kapag simple predicate, yung verb lang po yung mismo. Kung ano, ano lang yung ginagawa ni subject. Ano lang ba yung ginagawa ni subject? Ani predicate uh, ni subject. So, song and dance. Yan lang yung ginawa ni, uh, ni subject, di ba? So, mayaw lang siya at kumanta. So, meaning to say that is our simple predicate. Magiging complete complete predicate lang yan kapag Isama mo si simple subject, simple predicate rather, and then all the words, simple predicate, and all the words that modifies it. That is the work of complete predicate. Okay? So, that is the subject and predicate in a sentence. And you know what? There's a, there are a lot of things that we need to discuss about sentence. Hindi pa lang ito marami pa, but we'll discuss it further from the, uh, from the next video. So I hope that you learned something from this um, lesson. Uh, it's all about sentence and its uses. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Bye!